Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest, and on this episode, I'm gonna finish painting up this tank. Let me show you what happened last time I tried painting it. I got the tank done pretty well. You could see just maybe a few little spots in there. Nothing I'm really worried about. I might wet sand that before I clear coat it in a week or so. But let me get this into the sun if you can see this. Wipe off the dust that sat, sat around for a day or two. Yeah, high gloss paint's also easy to scratch. Also, look how bad that gloss came out. It's like a ombre out on the edge, and then in the middle it's really glossy. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera, but there's a ton of specks in here. So I'm gonna sand this down. I just had this stripped down last week, and I tried painting it with a gloss black because I think that's gonna look epic up against this matte black. Same thing with the emblems. They came out bad too, though. And this got stuck to the... One coat, though, got stuck to the cardboard when I rolled it over wasn't all the way dry anyways I'm gonna sand these down and I want to hit them with this you know craft drizzle d1 LVLP air spray gun I'm gonna hook that up to my air tank I just picked up some nice gloss black paint it's an oil based paint so I picked up some mineral spirits to clean up the paint gun with afterwards so this should take probably an hour hour and a half I'm guessing I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up let's check out this uh, spray gun but most importantly uh, finish getting this tank set up it's got another day's worth of work to seal the inside and I'm simultaneously filming a video about that so check that out all right so here's some gloss black I'm not gonna need much but I went ahead and grab that let's go ahead and unbox this gun I've used the spray gun a few times before so let's check it out all right let's go ahead and open this box dang this looks nice Well, I'm gonna make sure I clean this really well after I use it. Because I definitely wanna keep this thing for a while. All right, there we go. I was thinking that might be other tips. Shoot. I don't know what to do with different size tips. Only kind of spray guns I've ever used have just been uh, little easy setups. Well, I'm super excited to use this. This thing feels like super nice quality. Let me get it set up. I'll check back in when I get this thing set up. That was me. All right, here's the official setup. I've got to shake up that paint and get it all dialed in, but I'm gonna get everything, everything ready before that. So that once it's dialed in, I can go. I've got the water separator on there just in case I've got some condensation. It's been pretty humid out here lately. And I put my own fitting on here for my airline. Let's go ahead and see what this will do. I'm gonna get it calibrated first. We've got air adjustment here. We've got a regulator here. This is then the pattern adjustment knob and this is the fluid adjustment knob, which I've got set to two. All right, so I've got the tank on the motorcycle right now. I've just come and put the lid on. It's not actually bolted on, but it's looking great. Let me pull this out to the sun and show you a little better. All right, here it is on the hood of the Ranger. I like the contrast of the gloss black to the matte black. This gun worked flawlessly. Totally one I would recommend. So check out the link in the description if you want a paint gun like this. I'm sure you'll see this on another project in the future. All right, now here it is all put together. On the next episode, I'm gonna do some sealing on the inside of this. That'll be later this upcoming week. There it is, everything closing together. Looks absolutely awesome. Turned out perfect. Thank you. 